This year, Boston University hosted the African American Music and World Culture International Conference. To kick off the weekend, an opening reception was held in the BU Art Gallery at the College of Fine Arts to welcome those in attendance. Well, when I was talking to the organizer, the main organizer, which is Professor Allison Blakely of the African American Studies Program here at BU, said that he is interested in the ways that African American music influenced and was influenced by other cultures, cultures beyond what we typically hear. You know, you think about the Harlem Renaissance, or you even think about jazz in Paris, you hear that a little bit. But you don't think about other forms of African American music, hip hop, or even classical music, and all the, all the, um, the discourse surrounding those other forms. Um, so I think he's interested in African American culture and their role in lots of different types of music. Tolano, a PhD candidate in the History of Art and Architecture program at BU, was the curator of the gallery exhibit, Making Connections, The Art and Life of Herbert Gentry. Following her gallery talk at the opening reception, Tolano was set to speak on one of the panels at the conference over the weekend. Yeah, and then I guess my role in all of this is that when I talked to him, um, you know, just based on talking about his about his passion, his own research, and then this this conference, um, you know, come to find out that I'm working on Gentry and Gentry as this African American artist who spent much of his life in Europe. You know, so it's he has this complex identity, and he's very um, influenced by jazz. Jazz plays a huge role in his life. So Professor Blake was kind enough to encourage me to participate in this exhibition, in this conference, in other ways.